Well, hey friends, it's Julie, and today I just got my first Mary Martin, yeah, Mary Martin postcard shipment. Uh, the other day I woke up and checked my messages, emails, and okay, I'm apologizing. I'm really bad at getting back to you guys in emails. It's just, for some reason, it's a low priority for emails. So anyways, there, somebody, <laughs> they messaged me and said, hey, did you know there's Mary Martin um, postcard auctions going on? And I'm like... I didn't need to know that because I've been curious. Mark from SM Postcard mentioned that he met some people at a show and he got some. And then I saw that they had some, you know, cowboy stuff, but I didn't get the cowboy ones. I got some other ones. And let me show you what I got. So inside these boxes are, um, it's a lot of sheep. Yes, sheep and animals. There's 90 of them that I got for 57 or 55 bucks. Then we have, I bought a lot of holiday greeting album, 275 cards for 105. That one was an accidental one. I didn't really mean to win that one. And then I got um, Norway. <laughs> I know, Norway. Um, this is interesting that they actually packed them, packaged them in to, with the boxes that they came in. Um, might have come to them. And there's 400 cards, but I got them for $30. So I couldn't resist that. Then, okay, of the weirdest thing, baseball card lot, 800 cards, and I spent 20 bucks on that. And then finally, a box of 1,000 Continental Postcards for $45. <laughs> so by the time the cowboy stuff came along, um, so by the time the old Western ones came along, lots, I was feeling like I reached my limit on how much I should spend. And they also went higher than I would like to pay for. And this whole lot I got for $262 because there was... Um, fees, premium, auction fees. There's always auction premiums. And then another $56, I think, in shipping. I got a huge box my husband had to bring it in. <laughs> and then I just individually took the box out. So, all right, let's see what treasures we can find. Let's hope that there's some good ones in here. So I am really impressed by their packaging. They really did a good job on keeping it packaged well and, sa and safe. They've got these huge rubber bands. Uh, so I think some of the packaging that they left them in are, might have been how they came to them because uh, like the pretty boxes and the album pages. I mean, if you're going to be selling these in bulk, you're probably not going to be sticking them in album pages. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And um, I love the sheep. Uh, and there's some really good real photo po postcards in there um, and some other ones and so I'm really gonna do well with those. Um, the Norway, surprisingly, there's some real photo postcards and there are some divided backs and some old ones, but Norway for me, they do okay. So, and then we had the cards. Now you're probably wondering why did I buy the baseball cards? Um, the cards? Trading cards and baseball cards, I believe they will all go into the eBay standard envelope. I can scan these just like postcards and I can, um, they're easy to store too. So that's going to be good. And I'm probably going to list them and store them back in the box that they came from. Um, and there might be times when I just need to lot them up, but I'm going to have to buy some sleeves. Do you sell, um, upside down. So do you sell baseball cards or collector cards and how do you ship them? Um, do you sleeve them all individually? Is there a certain kind of sleeve? Um, I would love to hear that. I've been kind of looking around but kind of would love to hear how you are doing it and maybe I'll help someone else down in the comments below. Okay, now the greeting one lot. Again, there are some beautiful cards in here and there are some not, I mean, they look to be in nice condition. Of course, they're a nice plastic. Everything looks nicer in plastic. But I think I'm going to do well with this one, too, because, I, what did I say? I paid for this. Okay, I paid $100 for the greeting card album. This guy here, he's a gel. I normally will put $10 on this. And so all I have to do is sell 10 of these at $10, and I've um, paid for it. Even though I spend $100 on that lot, um, I'm still going to do well on that. And then the what else did I have the continentals um, I already see money in the in the box um, for what I paid for them which was just $45 I um, all I have to do is sell just a few of them and they're paid for so there were some other lots that were going on when I was watching that went for really cheap like an international set I think went for like 35 bucks um, like for a thousand 
And I think that the prices seem to go for kind of collector prices. Like if they had a lot of real photo postcards, that seemed to go pretty high. I think they had a collection of some famous, some postcard artists that went really well. And they had like Christmas with Santa's went really well. So those kinds of things that um, lots of people like went well. But the money is at those auctions that were like a thousand chromes, continental chromes, or a thousand interna the, the international. I do pretty well with the international. If I wanted to purchase the um, cowboy ones, I would have had to pay up for those. And, you know, I could pay up for them, but I have plenty right now. I have some I need to list, so I'm not desperate for them. So, but when they sort them out into those collections that are specific it seems like the prices went up high so I think you could get some still get some good deals if you're looking for those um, different cards that and you're not afraid to do non-US and do continentals or chromes and stuff that I think you could do well on it I'm not gonna figure out the price for each lot but I'm going to take 262 plus 56 which was my shipping and then I'm going to divide it by how many cards. I'm not counting the baseball cards. So I have about 1,765 postcards. So the money is 318 divided by 1,665, which comes to 19 cents a card. So, you know, it's probably, it's a little less than that because of, um, they, they always say plus. And then I have the baseball and the trading cards on top of that. So 19 cents a card is actually not too bad for what I got here. And so what am I planning to do with these? Okay, so I'm going to be sorting these into what I'm going to list right away because I saw in the greetings some Easter ones. I want to get those out right away. And then, um, and some real photo postcards I think we'd like to list this week. And then I'm going to sort them into what I'm going to list individually and then what I'm going to lot up. Up and then when I have to research. Well, thank you so much, guys, and I'm um, going to have fun this afternoon. And let me know if you've, you've purchased from Mary Martin, and have a joyful day. Goodbye.